Chris Amalbride with Aviation at ISE 2022 in the Jabra booth with my buddy Aragzeb Khan. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Tim. Good to see you. Good to see you in person again. I know it was Indianapolis. Now we're in Barcelona. Where that, that I would I would say Barcelona beats Indy, and that's <laughs> no 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 slight at my friends in Indiana, but absolutely. <laughs> uh, how how has the week been for you? How how is the it's the, been great. The no, food? it's just good to be with people, and the crowds have been enormous. Yeah. You know, Monday and then Tuesday was even busier. Yeah. And so it's just kept kept going. The momentum has been very good. 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 We had a, a garden party with our friends from Lenovo and Microsoft. That's been full. Yeah. The show's been full, so it's good. Good, awesome. Uh, so you you guys have been uh, developing, you know, dynamic, uh, high end uh, cameras uh, and microphones for a number of years. One of the things that, that you guys are talking about this week is something called dynamic composition. Yes, Explain that to me. Exactly right. Yeah, that's our big debut. So we announced it just before coming out, and we've been showing it here the whole week. You know, the core idea of dynamic composition, Tim, as you know, we have a unique camera product with three cameras that are synchronized to cover that full 180. And it means very high fidelity for people, right? So people look right no matter where they are. We got the feedback that in the hybrid working world, you know, when you're at home, you've got a camera dedicated to you. But if you're in a meeting room, you're sharing it with a lot of people. So with this device, we built an architecture where we can virtualize that three camera array to create four prominent video streams. Let's say for the last four active speakers. So that's all from one camera though? All from okay. one. And then at the bottom, we show the full panoramic. Okay. So now if you want to pay attention to like the body language, how's everybody engaging, you have that. And if you want to see you know, who's front and center, who's active, who's engaged, you have that also. So yeah. the whole idea is that everybody has a great, inclusive, kind of a, an equal footing experience. I want to highlight something though here, that the camera itself is doing, the camera is doing the processing, the camera is doing exactly. kind of the heavy lifting here. Exactly right, yeah, all, you know, there are nine processors, you know, uh, a lot of edge AI, that's always something we pioneered back in 2017. Yep. And so as a result, all of that heavy lifting is done in the device. So when you plug it into your PC or to your MTR, it's actually not putting any load oh, wow. on them. It's just giving them a fully curated set of audio video streams. All right, for, so for that specific that, that sort of specific dynamic composition, is that in, in one uh, one product or is that in several products? That's in Pianocast 50. That's okay. our a leadership product for the return to the office experience, you know, meeting room experience. Yep. Um, but we're using that state-of-the-art AI also in Pianocast 20. You know, we have a new generation, two new products coming out. In Pianocast 20, we're using that AI for a different purpose. You know, Pianocast 20, does a lot to make you look good, even if you're backlit, side lit, low light, you know, you're always looking great. We're going to release a feature in Q3 called background blur. Okay. And the core idea there is that you know, in real time, 30 frames a second, we can tell which pixels belong to Tim and which pixels belong to your background. And then you can blur that background. So let's say, you know, you're at home and you hadn't had a chance to clean things up, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Or, you know, you're at work and you're in, in um, finance or healthcare or something where you just want to make sure you forgot to raise your whiteboard, you don't want to show stuff off that, oh, you, no. should <laughs> that you shouldn't be showing. You shouldn't be showing. It's make sure that only those pixels that go with you go outside the device. So it gives you that layer of confidence that you've protected the information as best as you can. Absolutely, I, I, want, I, don't want, to, I, want, I want to highlight that again. Again, for the, for the blur, for the black background blur, that's also processing on, on the camera itself. When you, when you talk to folks, some folks call that edge, edge processing, right, or, or, or edge AI. What is the, beyond the, the obviousness of you can give more and more feature sets, when you start talking to, let's say, Microsoft Teams, what are some of the other benefits that they will get yeah. if they start you know, you, leveraging the, the Jabra Panicast? You know, the, we, we've just worked hand in hand with Microsoft and, and Zoom over the last many years, and with Teams leading with dynamic composition, exactly, you know, the experience in the end goes to our uh, customers, to our participants, through these services. Mm. So we will basically curate this dynamic composition stream, the panoramic stream, and give them that feed. And they can use that in the front row experience, or they can keep it together and show it by itself. So we give them a lot of flexibility, and we have tight integration through our APIs and through direct working with their engineering team. All right, very good. Aragzeb, somebody wants to find out more about Jabra, how do they do that? Jabra.com. All right, very good. Aragzeb uh, Khan from Jabra. Uh, thanks so much, sir, for us, for Aviation. Go by our website, aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv, and find more videos from the show floor of ISE 2022. All that and more at aviation.tv. That's aviation.tv.